figure out how to clip that and get like the best parts to that and put that on. She didn't want me to put it out. She didn't, she didn't like it. She, she said, don't put me on. I was like, man, hell yeah, you going on now. This shit was funny. Yes, bro? Bro, I'm trying to tell you that shit bad. How long that shit lay? About 30 minutes. Hey, yo, nah, bro. This might be because of the fuck ass. Yeah, yeah. You I try that shit I want to. Dig. I'm going to tell you that dog. 30 yeah, minutes? You going to be back. That shit's wrong, bro. Yeah, because we went to like fucking like, we went on vacation like out the country for like a week. And she was like, that shit can't be like that when y'all leave. Yeah, <laughs> That's why she said, what? It won't be like that when y'all leave.
Today our special guest artist is Von Barr. What up, what up? Appreciate you for having me, La Peace. I'm on Gap 5. What up? Bars in the building. <laughs> so where are you from? Georgetown, South Carolina. <laughs> Coming up, I was never really shy. I was an athlete, you know, brothers, sisters. You know, I like being in front of the crowds, big stages. Uh, you know, I always thought I had a message. I started listening to rap. Hard body in the early 90s. Like, bust around. I remember with the y'all, y'all, y'all. You remember that? Uh, you know, so I had a message, and I feel like I wanted to, you know, be heard. So I finally decided I need to get back to my, my dream. It's making music and being heard. Yeah, it's never too late to be able to hear. I need to make it. Wow. Um, so who are you listening to right now? Who are you guys listening to? You know, it comes to certain folks, so they can say right 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 But uh, I like Nas, they're more old school rap still. You know, that's my favorite artist. That's the first video you want to go into. Shit. We're going to talk first, man. Which one pick first? We pick whatever. I can pick as we talk. Yeah, that's whatever. We'll pick with a dog. Make sure they say that. Thing, man, we back in the traffic, man. It's lovely. May Day, May Day. You know what I'm talking about? I got a special guest in this thing today with me, man. Repping that motherfucking Carolina shit. You know what I'm talking about? I got the one and only, man. Represent that Georgetown, South Carolina, man. Bomb bars in this motherfucker, man. What's happening? Yo, what's cracking, baby? How you feeling? Yeah, chillin', man. Thank you for pulling up on me, man. We're in traffic, bro. Oh, yeah. Shit. Right. Shit. All right, then we get into it, man. Let's chop it up, man. We just came back from over the park that water, man. Yeah. I'm from Carolina, from Georgetown, man. Tell me what is an independent artist. Matter of fact, before we get into that. Tell the people, introduce yourself right quick. Tell them who, who you are, what you got going on right quick before we get deep into it. Bomb Bars, you know, out of Carolina. I'm Carolina made. Currently, I'm in Charlotte. You know, CAC, so, you know, either way you go, chop it up, it's still Carolina. But originally, I'm from Georgetown area, South CAC. Uh, that's like Myrtle Beach, Charleston area, you know, familiar type, low country. Uh, and I moved up here, you know, after school. My mama moved up here, and then I, that kind of brought me up this way because it was a little bit more opportunity and shit for me to kind of get into. All right, all right. So, uh, you know, I stayed up here. I liked it up here. And uh, from there, you know, I got the art, you know what I'm saying? I got two boys and stuff. So, you know, I started doing music a long time ago. And I got back on it, you know, once I realized that, you know, I got some more shit to get out. All right. And then I started, uh, you know, taking a little bit serious. And then I got with my manager, Al. And then, you know, we presented some stuff to uh, Stash House. Which is uh, out of base out of Atlanta with my A uh, and R Andre, okay. and from there they signed to Sony, so independent artists signed to label. So, That's what's up. so uh, and then I got projects out, no discount EPs out everywhere. You know, you make sure you go chop it up, check that out. Pop the CD uh, on my new Vivo channel, Vaughn underscore B A R Z. That's bars with a Z, not S. Uh, so tap in, like I said, follow the music. We're doing international tours and new project dropping this summer. Some light shit, but uh, that's what it is. That's what we at with it. We're good. All right, all right, man. Y'all see what it is, man. We in Von Bars, man. How, how long you been fucking with the music, bro? How long you been rapping? Uh, shit. I, I started rapping at like uh, like ten, like nine, ten. Yeah. Uh, like with a boombox, so you know, you had to take a cassette and put it in there and record this yeah. shit, like. And that's when I started rapping, man. And I, I kind of like take I said, tape, put the tape in the back, cut, make yeah, it yeah, yeah press record the double, the double <laughs> tap. Yo, so um, yeah, yeah, man. I just, I just like rap, man. I was. I always kind of felt that I had a talent, a gift with words. So, right. 
when I figured that I could rap a little bit and my yeah. shit kind of sound good. I just said, I'm going to try rapping, man. I like it. What made you take, what made you like get into it? You say, you know what, I'm, I'm going to take it like serious. I'm really going to get into it. Like, no, I'm really going to focus on this and get what I got. I mean, at first I kind of, I fell back off it because I came off the yard. I used to freestyle. Yeah. So I used to battle cats. Right. So, you know, battle for money sometimes and then sometimes you battle for pride. But, you know, people in my head, they know I used to body cats on, you know, right. freestyle. So I had lyrics. And I, I come from that lyrical aggression, you know what I'm saying? Right. So from there, the game had changed. If you kind of the dynamic switch, where it was more like dance, kind of popcorn and mumble rap, what kind of stuff. Right. And to ease this on, you feel me? But I like classic real music. I was born in the '80s. My daddy raised me up on that Ivy and that yeah. Sade and that, and that real music. So I, I felt that the core of rap was kind of took a different direction, right. and that kind of made me shot fall back. Is that, is, that, is that artist you listen to that, like, growing up, you listen to the you say, you know what, I want to do that? Like, the artist that you grew up listening to, like, you're not mimic, but you know what I'm saying, like, I, I, I fuck with this nigga, I want, I want to rap, because of this nigga. Nas, in the Illmatic series, and Queen, like, Nas was that guy for me. Yeah. And Jada is, you know, plenty more, but just to keep it current, like, those was my guys, and, you know, I started listening to Bust initially, but Nas kind of took it there, and then uh, him and Jay had that, like, iconic battle. Right, right. But then, like, what I really liked, like, in my core years, when I realized I could spit, was, like, Banks, Lloyd Banks. Yeah. Uh, PLK, 134 All-Stars, man. If y'all don't know Banks, <laughs> go look him up, man. Lloyd Banks is going to spit. And uh, that's what kind of made me get to it and get bars. And I can right. talk in my bars. That's the beauty of it. And I, I'm a hybrid, so I can give you this everything you need. I can right. get with the new cats, with the little... Drill and all this other shit, yeah. but I can give you real rap too. So, so. you say you say you're more of a, you're more of a, uh, you could say you're more of a lyrical type. But rapper. yeah, I give you balls. That's why I put yeah. balls in the name. Cause people yeah. be like, why you put you balls? Know, in you know, 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 and get there, you know what I'm saying? The sure. thing we ain't got no, I ain't shit down in my butt with them entertainment. Nothing, no. You know what I'm saying? So what, what gave you that drive coming from Georgetown, man? You say, you know what? I'm going to be that motherfucker to get there. Like, I'm going to make this shit happen. Uh, it takes a lot to make coming from South Carolina, say. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? But when you get that drive from it and being that South Carolina mentality, man, I'm fuck that. I'm going to get it. Man, well, I see my mama hustle from young. Like, she yeah. was a grindaholic. My mama, you know, went to school, had kids. My daddy grind. You know, I, so I, I seen everybody around me grinding, hustling, working hard. And so that pedigree was instilled, right. you see what I'm saying? Um, but it definitely was humble beginnings, right. you know. And it's funny because when my mama sees interview, my mama up now. God yeah. bless, salute. That's like, she hold the profession. She got great finances. She's able to help others. That's it's a right. beautiful thing. Um, but she wasn't always like that. Right. So we, we were more humble at the beginning, but my mama... Uh, and my daddy and them always made sure that we had our necessities, you feel me? But we went without quite a bit at the beginning. Right. But life changed and got better as we went along. So I was able right. to see both sides, right? right? So I knew in my heart that I hate when people say we got the same start. That's not true. Right. I don't care what background, whatever you know, that's not true. We all do not have the same start. Really but we that. all do have the opportunity to finish strong. You feel right, me? right. So, uh... I knew that I could be better than what I was used to. And back right. home, shout out to back home, G-Town, to all my people back home. I love y'all. Three, baby. Yeah, I three, you know, I got that here. That's my three. blood. It yeah, is a struggle three. coming out there. You know what I'm You're saying? Right South Carolina is slow on every fucking thing. Everything, man. And we're, la we're last on everything, but we're first on putting people up. You oh, see what I'm saying? Say that shit again. <laughs> say that shit again. For real. We last on everything, I'm, but we first somebody, on putting somebody, people no, I ain't up. Tripping. We're not tripping, okay. dog. All right. So, um, you know, from that standpoint, I figured that if I could take a step, I wanted to go to school. To be honest, I wasn't going to go to school. Right. I was an athlete. I was good at sport. I was a state champion, All-American. That's how you wrestle that. that. I'm buying that. We're going to get into um, that. You're definitely going to talk about that. So that took me because my mama, I remember like my senior year of school, my mama was like, son, you're going to get out of this house. You're going to go to the military yeah. or you're going to go get a job yeah. or you're going to go to school. I was going to the military. I'm not fighting for nobody but myself. Okay. Um, but <laughs> yeah, that's I mean, it, right. just, just, just <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, that we fight every day. You feel me? So, um, 
So I didn't want to go to the military, and I didn't want the jobs I was going to get back home wasn't going to pay me no money. I wouldn't right. end up trying to go back in the street type stuff and try to right, right. mingle. So, so I was like, well, let me try school, but I wasn't even looking for school. You know right. what I'm saying? I'm a, here I am, state champion, all American, you know, uh, all star, all et cetera, right? But I wasn't in the school. So I had my coach who was like a father to me, Talbot. Right. Shout out to Talbot, man. Um, he, he guided me a lot. He's from Charleston area, South Carolina, some of them. So he got some scholarships put together for me, and I ended up going to school upstate South Carolina. Right. So I went upstate South Carolina. That's kind of when my beginnings really started, like my youth going into my manhood, coming into me being, you know what I'm saying, met a lot of people there. And that's why I battled some different folks there right. in the music. And then I, I moved up here, and then that's why I started taking music serious after a couple of years when I got back to it. Man. But South Carolina yeah. was definitely a humbling experience. It's a beautiful thing to see people win from South Cat. Shout out to Black Zach. Uh, yeah, I think he's Black putting Zach, in that Zach, pain out there. That man, yeah, Columbia yeah. 803. And, uh, you know, it's a lot of cats out there. Uh, my cousin back home, you know, Nate. It's another cat, uh, Big Long uh, Money Phil. Long Shout out to him, man. It's, it's yeah, some yeah. dope cats out of South Cat, a man. Lot of them, South Cat got talent, man. We just need a lot of We need more resources right. to, to put it out. That's all. And my name is talking about that cat too, man. Don't be afraid to reach out, man. Network like a motherfucker, man. Sure. That, that, that pride of kill you, man. I know a lot, I got a lot of guys in the department, but that pride of kill them. Sure. We got pride like a motherfucker. For sure. For we like sure. everybody for shit. For sure. But, man, but when people got resources, man, the one thing I learned is traveling around, man. Network with motherfuckers. You'd be surprised. People want to help. Definitely. You're winning and saying, like, nah, shit don't take a lot of money either, my nigga. This shit is a lot of just, a lot of cats that fuck with me. They, they really want to do it. Yeah. You can count on it. I'm going to get it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. We need more of that, man. Shout out to the April. Tell the whole Carolina, man. No offense, South Carolina. Carolina. Yeah, we get to call the names. It's crazy because, like, you can, there's so many people. Like, I got cousins yeah. and stuff who take it serious. You know, my cousin, Lana Ace, he, he doing some things down there back home. My cousin, uh, Maine, he, can, he spit. It's just so many yeah. people and different things, bro. But, you know what I'm saying? It's, like I said, it's uh, many obstacles. All right. Yeah, so, 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 how do you guys even go with the stash? I was doing the situation down in, in A. How you got that <laughs> So, I had quite a bit of music out. Uh, and... Al, you know, he was working with some entertainment connections. Besides Al, man, you know, know, big Al, out, man. you know, very, very business oriented. Yeah. And he knew me for a couple of years. It's a funny thing, bro. Like he didn't know I could rap. Yeah. He probably knew I, I did a little something, but he yeah. never really. We never got on that topic, and he was fucking with music already. Um. So when he heard what I, you know, some some of my stuff, he was like, right. "Yo, Tony, you taking it serious? You willing to?" I was like, "Yeah." He was like, "You got some good shit." Right. So uh, we got together, and then we put, like, a small portfolio together and presented it to an a, a couple a and R's, like, maybe, like, ten of them, right? right. Like, four of them hit us back, and, like, uh, we went we, we met with a couple, but the one that stuck and that we progressed with to which the situation we have now, Andre with uh, Stash House, he had just came from Universal, was working on his own project and building his own brand. And he said, you know, he was definitely willing to work with us and right. build us. And, you know, we got, uh, you know, deals and et cetera and resources through them now because of, you know, us right, taking right. that step. But, you know, we found them officially certified uh, LinkedIn, et cetera. And that's how we got plugged in um, with them that deal. So it was like a distribution situation? Yeah. Yeah. He was, yeah. So I took major independent. And, you know, that's very confusing for a lot of people, but. It's very resourceful. So basically, it depends. You basically use the machine, basically. They, you have, you know, yeah, yeah. And, and it's so hard. You know it, it's hard to not. It's hard to say people. People want to say be independent, independent. Yeah, that's great, and I, I'm for that. But you got to know when you're independent, that means you have to have everything in the, in the music game. It's not. It sounds good, right? Saying I own all my masters, my publishing, I do everything, this and that. But that comes from a bag. If you don't have a bag or somebody with a major resource connection. You're really, you know, you're not going to do, it's hard, right. you know what I'm saying? And you got a lot of independent artists that's not known that's getting a bag that's doing their thing, you know what I'm right. saying? But to get to that next level or less, you know, a lot of time it, it's going to take the machine. Right. But it doesn't have to, you know, but right. a lot of people will tell you different on that. You don't have to have the machine, but the machine, it's like Drake. They say Drake made like X amount of millions, right? You say the label made 100 million. Right. Well, fuck, if Drake made 20 million. But he was gonna make five million without him. That's the problem. So what's the problem with the game right now, so right? Up. If, what's the problem with the game though? If, if me and you working right now, right. and you getting ten mil, and I'm getting two mil, and we partnered up, I shouldn't be worrying about your ten mil unless you're, you're getting over on me in a right. nasty way. But if we set it up that way, right. and that's how you eating, and that's how I'm eating, 
I'm not worried about what you get. I'm just worried about getting what I'm getting. Because eventually, I want to be you or better, and I just get that with my and time. You're probably getting money together. I'm going to show you how to get the team. You go, you go coach. So I'm going to try to get 20. You're trying to go to the next level. You feel me? That's how it's supposed to go. That's how the game, that's why the game is so bad. And don't, don't get it fucked up. There's nothing wrong with having a machine behind you. Just don't let the machine give it to you. Right. Right. You know saying, saying fight back, but make it make sense. All right. All right, so y'all better pay attention, man. You ain't getting game from the inside up, man. Y'all already know this, man. We live Mac and Trevor podcast, man. We're going bars, man. You know what I'm saying? Man? We'll get to the music in a minute. But, bro, let me ask you a quick question. How, how, how you getting the wrestling, man? Man, I'm a field cat, man. <laughs> uh, I'm from the country. Everybody back home know, man. I'm from a place called Originally Not Swamp. Um, Carlos Bay. Um, shout out to back home, like I said. Uh, Play them Carlos Bay, man. You know, to the Bears. <laughs> I, I was a bulldog because my daddy was born in town and, you know, we were living in town, but I, half my family was back this side right. and then half my family was in town. So we was all in the country. We country boys. So me and my little cousins, man, look, we get in the field like grass is hot right. and we, we, we wrestling, bro. Like we body it. Who's the bigger dog? Right. I remember one time we put a hole in my granddaddy's house and my uncle's a carpenter. Uh, he's a general contractor. And, uh, man, me and my cousin was wrestling. And we put a hole in the wall. Like, literally, you could push, like, a stroller through, a push stroller through. And I remember being scared doing that, man. But as a kid, I broke so many windows. I mean, I, 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 I was rough. Yeah, yeah, I was okay. rough, yeah, man. Yeah, that's, that. So that's why I was wrestling. That's, that got me into wrestling. I, I tore up a lot of people, man. That's what's up. Yeah, that's what's up. I ain't met you it's funny, like, yeah, it ain't all thing. It's like, you know, we play football and basketball. Yeah. I was athletic. Um, that's your dope, though. That's your but, but wrestling oh, was different, you know. Not everybody can do that. Yeah, I forget. That's your different, you know what I'm saying? That's a lot of skill, man. For real, bro. For real, that's it. Yeah. But shit, let's say you got this going to some music. Then we're going to come back and talk to the people some more, man, while we live. What do you want to get into? I see you got a dope video. Yeah, man. All right, now, man. You want to check that dude out, man? Yeah, check that out. Hey, man, y'all subscribe to the channel right now, man. We got that dope video. Man, what's happening about the watch right quick, man? So, real quick, man, everybody, R.P. Dolph, you know, legend in the community, but uh, I just did a shout-out, uh, a tribute to Dolph, man. It's called Dolph, literally. So, uh, check that out, man. That's on my Vivo channel, man, Bomb Bars Dolph. All right, I'm going to plug in the nation out there, man. So, I'm going to check that shit out, man. Going down like this, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, Yeah, quick. Yeah. 
Like, they almost sound like they're from the yeah. island. Yeah, like, so I'm saying I'm from Jamaica or Bahamas or something. Yeah, what are you saying? What are you saying? don't come for me saying, you know what I'm saying? You can't say. Yeah. But most people would. You yeah. Know? So, yeah, yeah. So that's why the feel was so organic. Yeah. And uh, I dropped right in, fit right in. We went through Kingston, Wild Walks, and man, uh, Mandeville, St. Canada. Like, we was in the, like, the spots, my, my dude. Like, not the tourist stuff. We yeah. were in the culture. Yeah, they, they showed you what it was. Um, so, definitely that experience was dope, and I look forward to doing more music with them and building That's there and doing big features there. And um, and so, they were very embracing. They liked the music. They were warm. And, uh, you know, it's a lot of love there. London was different. It's English. Right. You know, it's funny. You hear the accent. You know, it's like the Outback accent. You know, yeah. right? What's up, mate? You know, what about you, mate? You know, yeah. and it's like, you know, they, they like organic. English. Bro, they they love they love it they love it. And they do a lot of drill over there too, like the fast rap. They like that drill shit too. Yeah. Um, but I did some stuff out there, and I even did some drill music out there with some features. Um, and they're, they're very embracing. Yeah. Like they they really gravitate to the American culture. They love it too. Yeah. As well as I love that European style, that English accent. You know, and we're gonna bridge some more gaps with that. Right. We got a lot of. Yo, stay tuned. We got some dope shit coming. How did they come from the Carolina? Cool. With that, like, how did they come from the Carolina and just been over there and just a whole vibe? You know what I'm saying? How did how did DJ treat you like that? You know oh man, saying? come on, the DJ. It was I didn't even have to rehearse. Like when I went on stage, oh, yeah, yeah. Like we 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 had it locked in. The only thing we had to do was make sure sound checks was good right. on the stages. But um, rehearsing, I told the DJ drop the shit. I mean, I do this. No, it sound good. Let me go. The sound good. Make sure my mic good. Turn my mic up. And whatever, whatever. Let me go. And we rock, bro. Like, they, they chopped it, brought it back, screwed it. I'm, I'm in there catching it. You drop it down, I'm going to catch it. And the catch was in there bouncing and stuff, man. Um, So, shout out to Mims Capone uh, uh, back home, back in uh, London, too. Like, dope artists, like I said. Shout out to Askel, uh, Askel, DJ, Fire Ash. Uh, so many people, like I said. I, you know, I'm going to miss people, so right, don't right. judge it. I'm just saying, though, it's talent out there. Those right. guys are talented, too. So. All right. Um, I, it was a good experience, bro. We look forward to going back in Jordan. That's what it do, man. So for the people, man, for the cats that, that's doing it, man, for like it's some motivation, man, for like oh, it's taking you on like, overnight. Man, tell the cats just the, the time that you've been doing it, man, and the motivation you got to motivate yourself that you don't want to do it and just get to the point where that you want to quit but still just having the motivation to keep going, man. Be able to tell out just, just motivation, man. What do you tell the cats, man, to get to where you're at now? You're like, you finally see it's a test, like, which shit you want to see. And yeah, how you put it, like, yeah, like tell the cats, like, you should put in what you got to stick to, man, to get to that point, man. Like, uh, what's the motivation, man. man? You know, so most of us been outside. So, so you, you motivate me, man. You can talk, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's that's that shit made me feel good. No, I know kind of going overseas. You ain't go through that. Nigga, we straight yeah. to goddamn. You know right. what I mean? Cut, we were cut the corner and went right to I it. I said, I was in all the time. Like, fuck the boy. You went straight to it. Right to it. So, man, tell me about that shit, man, in the journey, man. Um, So, you got to appreciate the journey, man. If it comes to you fast, second guess it. You feel right. me? Because. Everything in life you got to earn. And if somebody give it to you, you have no substance to it. So we had to earn it. We put our time in. We paid. Um, we, we had to pay money for different things. We took L's. We up. We, we, we got dubs, etc. But it's all about having a team as well, you know. So on this journey, you're going to have to build. You'll have to have a manager. You'll have to have. You're going to want yourself an a Asha, a repertoire. If, you, if not, you know what I'm saying? You can do everything, but it's harder. You're going to want your producers on board. You're going to want your engineer. You're going to want your PR person. You know, you're going to want your label mates, et cetera, because those things help you facilitate through the game a little bit more fluently. Right. And um, for me, that was the journey, like, from spending money with different producers and engineers that didn't give me what I asked for. Right. From spending money with managers that, not necessarily spending money with managers, but putting money into projects with uh, managers and people who weren't who they say they are. Right. So we went through all of that. Right. And finally, we caught something that stuck. So I'm in that spot now where it's like I'm past regular. We're getting paid. Um, we act being asked to come out. And it could easily go with a drop of a dime to hit the right light switch. We could be major, right. like major. Right. Um, and to be honest, that's what we aspire to do. We aspire to, like, like match this whole out. Right. Um, but I want to be able to get to that next level to show people uh, that, you know, giving back and respecting the journey is, is a beautiful thing to show the people struggling through that's close to me and you that right. came up with us like damn that that dude from back home I know that cat like right. legit like I got his phone number in my phone right. 
right. to show them that it happened to regular people like us. Right. So I'm saying, so it feel good. And I was a grinder, a hustler. I came from the rap game, like the dope game. Right. Everybody say it, but it's the truth. Yeah. It's, it's like, you're going to take L's. People right. going to get off on you. You're going to have to stand on some shit. Right. You're going to have to suck some shit in. Um, yeah, yeah. And it's, that's the game, bro. <laughs> if you don't go through up. that, this shit ain't real. It ain't real. You know what I'm saying? That's all to it, man. And another thing about the good relationships with people, man. Build good relationships with people, man. You know what I'm saying? Be, 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 real. Be, be, be mindful. Because the same motherfuckers you meet going mm-hmm. up is the same ones you meet coming down. And um, show love, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you hot, bro, and you talented, I respect where you at. I'm not going to look at you as competition in that light. I look right. at you as competition when we on stage or when we on the track or shit like that. But as far as you trying to make it, right. we, bro, it's, it's this mentality where it's like, I got to get there before the next one. And you yeah. get there, you fall flat on your face, and the cat who was behind you ran past you and could have grabbed you like this and picked you up. Right. But they're going to they do like this and Heisman on your yeah. ass because... You was funny. Up. You was funny on your trip. Right. So when you do, it's like it's people that I will come back to, and, and, and drop that 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 rose petal for like, yo, here, I'm gonna put that out there for you. Get that feel, grab that, snatch you up. Right. And there's some people that can fuck with me on the arm. Like you can hit me directly because it's love. Right. You ain't gotta go through red tape with my manager. I'm gonna go to my manager. You straight. Right. Then they'll line it up, but you straight. Right. Right. There's some motherfucker that that I'm gonna be like, yo, you gotta go that way, dog. I'm right. up with you, but you got to go the long way. All right. Because I got to handle you a certain way. All right. So that's just all it is. And you got to be able to catch that early because the shit only gets harder. <laughs> it gets more intense. You more money right. get involved. More people get involved. You got to do it right. It gets realer. So, right, I don't run with a lot of people. I know a lot right. of people, and I'm cool with a lot of people. But right. if you ever see me, I mean, but aside from family, for the most part, I ain't going to mess with so much people because... When you got a thousand people on your team, you right. got to feed a thousand people. Yeah, right. And when you don't feed a thousand people, guess what they do? They turn on you, dog. They turn on you. Look Every what Dirk and these boys going through. Every time. You, they back down on you. And it ain't always like that. But if, you, if you've been around and you season, you know, right. I'm going to feed who I'm going to feed regardless. Right. But when you add to your equation, everybody who a part of my circle got to have substance and a reason to be there. <laughs> yeah. Hey, what's it? You see what I'm saying? That's what I'm talking about. Because I just don't that's want to, you feel me? That's all I'm saying. Like, that's real shit though, bro. You, even, it could be that's my brother. Shit. That's my brother. I love when people say that's your brother. That's why he's rocking with you. Okay, well, my brother might be my, 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 uh, my camera guy. He might be my yeah. hype man, whatever. Can't be just be here. You got to be doing something. He probably be on payroll, but he got a reason to be there. Yeah, right. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's right. all it is. That's you what it's what about, saying? bro. And like I said, I said, I forget, man. Like, I don't get, I don't, I don't like to call people back. I don't like to, we guys who make it. The average rapper gonna employ at least 10 to 20 motherfuckers. Okay. That's taking care of family. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So I don't trip, I try not to trip off none of that stuff, man. Whoever I'm you make it not help who you can help because one person, you ain't do it by yourself. So you want to at least employ 10 to 20 people. Sure. Majority going to be your people, somebody you know. Anyway. So that's the best of being self right there. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So shit. So we don't get too deep. Tell us what else, what else you got going on. What's next to what, what else you got going on? Uh, like I said, we got videos coming up, uh, visuals with the hot shit. Um, 30 Murders gonna be dropped. We shot it in Jamaica in the trenches with my partners in them. And uh, we're gonna drop that video. We got more videos to drop. Shout out to Tampa and Florida, one of the producers right. I rock with. Tay out is uh, up in uh, No Cap with me, man. He's dope producer. Uh, shout out to D Fresh and Cali, man. There's so many people, like I said, probably get names, though. It's, my, it's all love and respect. But like I said, uh, new music is gonna be coming soon. Right. We just was really trying to push what we dropped out because we got so right. much content. But we sitting on some gems, man, and I can't wait to the club here. Some of the stuff we got, some of the DJs, right, right. Um, because man, it's like you got you know that baby bubbling, and you you know you got a diamond in that stomach. We gotta get that, we gotta get that out. Yeah. Like um, we gotta we gotta get this shit out. Where the X like at? Yeah, all right. We gotta shit this, we gotta get this shit out. <laughs> what's, your, what's your take right now on the on, on the game as far as being Carolina? Cause we got a couple Carolina cats like Marie. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, what's your take on on the Carolina as far as like as far as DJs? And where you see it going, or where you see where we still ain't got it together yet, far as Carolina, like far as we, we see where, where we at right now. I, I see a lot of the resources being drafted together yeah. because for so long I could say the Carolinas been that grimy state where it's like dog eat dog, everybody for themselves, nobody really trying to help anybody, everybody for clout of money. Right. And with all due respect, like if we rocking, if you don't have no business that benefits you, then it doesn't make sense. Right. You understand? So if a DJ or a producer or a radio uh, personality is messing with people 
who paying them, et cetera, then guess what? It's all about the money at the end of the day, to be right. real. Right. So kudos to that. The only thing I will say to those cats, to the people, to the tastemakers in the entertainment industry, when you see cats grinding, even if I got a bag already, don't try to get me because you know I got a bag. Right. Don't stick me. Show me some love because I'm still trying to get to that next level as well, right? right. Bubbling don't mean that you up, up, up. Bubbling means you, you, the goal is to max it out. Max it out. So, so that's the only thing I would say. Show more natural, organic love instead of everything being business. I felt like it was like 95% got to be money and business and clout behind people working together. Yeah, I know it's got friends like that, nigga. They figure their money about they don't want to fuck with you. Facts. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be about money. Yeah. I fuck with you. I fuck with you. Sometimes you see for the free, but Do it for love. You know what I'm saying? Because guess what? On the back end, just like I said, the back end like the dope game. When, when you when you show, you might front me that love on the on the beginning, right? They start me up. And on the back end, like, damn, tone up. If you fucking with a real one, you ain't got to ask no questions. It's mm-hmm. understood. It's I'm going to come back and you coming with me. Bro. You already know what it is. I got you. you and some know. people, I lost people that was close to me like that too because they can't shut up and sit still. Like, keep it trail. Like, I'm not, a, I'm not a funny cat. You do have some cats that you got a side eye, but I ain't never been funny. Right. I might have done wrong by people, but it was unintentional. I never intentionally wronged right. somebody, right? So if you know that's not my pedigree, shut up, sit still, let me do what I'm doing, because I'm going to come back for you. All right. You see what I'm saying? But right. people can't sit still. They're so fucking antsy. So I'm saying they blow the whole spot up. Every time. And then you wonder why somebody, like, you know, when you get to that next level, they got people around them. Or newer people. Because uh, they less people. Or less people. So I'm saying because people just don't know how to keep it gangster. You know what I learned too? With that shit like that too? Now yeah, your partner around. It's like they don't want to find their lane. Their yeah. lane which they, if you if I'm the bag, I'm the money, man, I'm the one doing this. Yeah. Find your way to stay. See my boy, don't change me and my yeah. people. Right. Find your lane to get money with me. With me. Or ask what I got so we can get it together, player. That's the yeah, easy right. part because I already if I'm the, I already got this shit in motion. All you gotta do is goddamn nigga, put a couple of eggs in the bag and take a couple of eggs. Yeah. And get together. Boom. Add to it. Boom. boom. He's part, it's a puzzle piece. Right? That's it. We're playing and you can grab a couple more niggas and keep it going. That's it. That's it, bro. Like I grew my hustle, man. You know it, bro. You know Carolina, man. you from South Cat, bro. Yeah, like, man. Like I said. Oh, he's telling me how to get to get to it. Get to it. And be real with it. Be real with it. They don't run off on the floor. No, it's going to be bad. I don't. Hey, hey, no, because no, OG, we know we know each other family. Hey, brother, what? You know you run. Well, where you going? Your mama, you might be okay, and you might move like, you might move because you know you cause people, but do your mama move like that? No. Do your sister move like that? Yeah. So We raised her, but we know that. It's different, bro, so it's, yeah. I guess it is what it is. It's what you what you born and what you raised, man. You're right about that, like, cut But I can tell you through your music, bro, because like, a lot of people, I can tell your music, and I can tell what they mind it. You just put, and honestly, if you talk about, bro, in your, in your, in your joints, you really be on something. Now, he really gives it like, can I say, my shit's game time and team. You really be giving out a motherfucking sauce, man, like, for real. Appreciate that. So. Now, like, really, I really, I'm, I'm, I like, I'm, I like a lot of shit, man. I, I'm like, I, I have fun with music. You know what I'm yeah, saying? And so. I'm talking like, I, I live life. And to hear what some of the shit you saying, my nigga, not only, some of the shit be fun as hell. Yeah. But your shit be, you really be giving niggas some, like, some real sauce, man. And on that, me being counted, I can hear it. Yeah. The lingo, the tone. Words that the how the fuck he made this shit right? That ain't and it don't even fucking yeah, right. But it'd be that country shit mixed with that goddamn yeah, that's slang. That's, that's slang, you know what I'm saying? So I've been listening to that shit, bro. I'm like, God damn, how bro put that shit together. You know what I'm saying? So like being an artist man and, and I say it's competition, I'm not a hater like that. So when I see it motivates me. For sure. Nigga shit, that shit they all. And bro played let me do that shit. I said, I heard it. I said, bro, I said, bro, I said, bro, she wanna figure it right now. Yeah. Make it more be like, bro, I got it. Oh now put some work in. Yeah. That's how I look at the game. That's my that's how I look at competition. Yeah. Not saying, oh, I gotta go do this nigga's on. I ain't no fuck with it. That niggas made me, I'm on the court. Nigga sports. Yeah, yeah, Let's yeah, get my yeah. shit up. Yeah, I'm bringing So we live like that. Perform after you. I want to make sure I carry that weight. Yeah. No, that. It's Carolina. Like, hey, I'm not killing my nigga. Hey, oh, nah. If he, if he holding that, I got to hold it too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Sure, sure. That's how I look at it, my nigga. So, artist, oh, artist, my nigga. Count on the count on the nigga. I appreciate it, my nigga. That shit can be motivated. So keep posting, sure. my nigga. Like I say, the bro told me you got down, you took the flight. Yeah. Said, you just fucked the game up, man. Uh, we, we doing it different. Because the niggas over here, they fighting like a mother trying to. You, 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 you say, I'm not getting that car, nigga. Get on the plane, baby. Yeah, I'm, like, I'm going over here and yeah. fuck with it. You know what I'm saying? Well, I'm going to appreciate it. I'm going to get to the money, but I have to. Yeah. So, and that just put my mind somewhere too. When you talk, I said, bro, too. I said, oh, shit. Like, yeah. Well, I want to be like, well, give me a ticket, too, nigga. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't going to tell you. I was hyped. When you told me you were going, I was hyped. Yeah. yeah you know what I'm saying? Like, straight up. Like, fuck yeah. Now they know you from the country. Man, hell yeah. Go. That's man. Go. You told me that man. 
Go, my nigga. Fuck that shit. That shit motivates me. I say, hey, only thing can they get networking. You had a conversation. That shit gonna go. I just keep doing what the fuck I do. We're talking about the network. That's it, bro. You know what I'm saying? So, bro, I'm proud of you, bro. Definitely. But I'm gonna get you another video, man. What else you got, man? Because I... Like I said, man, subscribe to my man YouTube channel, man. Yeah, man. Bob Bars, man. Bebo channel live, baby. Top, top you want to play that new shit you play on? You uh, want to play it? What shit would I have? Oh, you want to hear the video? Like, I always drop the link to the video, but that new. You, you want to hear it? Bloody yet? Murder. You want to you hear it yet? We can drop the Bloody Murder, man. Let's go, man. Plug in for the play that shit, man. Let me hear that shit, man. Bloody Murder, man. Play that motherfucker, man. Hey, hey man, for those who tuning in, man, look, check this out. It's called Bloody Murder, produced by Gemini Management. Out of Jamaica, Caribbean style, real authentic roster, my boy Balance Guy. Check it out. Carolina, Jamaica, man. Wow. Fuck y'all time out. Yo, so welcome to the motherfucking cat, bitch. It's just like that. Fuck y'all time out. We make it time for real, man. Bon Bar. Here we go. Man. Let's get it. Now I see. Link will be in the bio, man. Yeah. Stay tuned. Yes, sir. <laughs>
We keep it coming. Sony is in the building. Shout out to you, Luck, for putting okay, this man. thing. You know how we do. Know, Shout out my team. Yes, sir. Shout out to Big Al on management. Yes, Shout out to everybody, my family and, and my boys. And you know what it is, man. We just keep working. Yeah. Yeah, I know, man. Luck Bone, Bomb Boss, Magnet and Traffic Podcast, man. Follow us, man, on the motherfucking Twitch, man. Luck Bone 843. Luck Bone 843 on the gram. Magnet and Traffic Podcast on YouTube, man. Y'all look for this interview coming soon, man. We go channel YouTube and all, man. Going down. <laughs> Magnet Traffic the Bomb Boss. Really, bitch, man. For real. We out here. Foles up, bitch. Yay. <laughs> that was good, man. Uh, that was good. That was dope. <laughs> Real <laughs> shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah, this raw shit. That was good. Yeah, yeah, my nigga. <laughs> we going in. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We got DC on this bitch. <laughs> nigga, the DC on this bitch.